Just look at these anemones, Peso. They're so colourful. Each one looks like a flower or a, a monster. Ah! Oh, it's not a monster. That's an elephant seal. A very large seal with a great big nose. Like an elephant. Is he snoring? Hmm. Elephant seals sometimes do sleep in the water. I think something's wrong with his skin. He's molting, losing his old skin so a new layer can grow in. See? Does that hurt him? <laughs> Not at all. Molting is perfectly normal for an elephant seal. It's the same as when you grow too big for your clothes and need new ones that fit better. But elephant seals are supposed to molt on the beach where it's warm. Molting in the cold water will make him ill. Oh no, he's nowhere near a beach. Shellington, we have to help him. Captain, we have an elephant seal emergency. We need to bring him to the octopod. And he's really huge. And loud. We have to move him, but he'll never fit into the guppy. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the launch bay. Tweak, we need to tow an elephant seal to the octopod right away. The gup is ready to go, Cap. And I've added an extra strong tow line. Good thinking. Quasi, you're with me. Yow! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Shiver me whiskers. He is huge. Let's get him to safety. We've got him, Peso. Let's go. Through this door. Hey, gosh! He does it. There you go. He's okay. But boy, does he snore. <gasps> Peso, how's your patient? His temperature is perfect. As soon as he regrows his skin and hair, he'll be as good as new, Captain. <laughs> He's awake. Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach and see my friends and family and... Uh... I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach. Uh... <sighs> With lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, then... <sighs> oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach.
We've been searching for Leon's beach for days. We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Leon? I feel great and I'm looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper? Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Look out! Oh! Quasi, on the beach! Elephant seals! And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? Are you okay? I'm great! This is even more fun than the beach! Let's do it again! Attention, <laughs> Octonauts! We have found a beach full of elephant seals. To the launch bay! Just pop! <gasps> to the launch bay! Leon, aren't you coming? Um, sure. I suppose. Peso, into the gut. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Wait a second. I'm having so much fun here with you. I don't want to leave now. Sorry, Leon. The octopod's just not big enough for an elephant seal. And the other elephant seals must miss you. But I'll miss you guys. How about if we race you to the beach? A race? You're on! He's fast! Elephant seals are strong swimmers. I win the race! Yeah! Hey, Leon! You found us! <laughs> We were so worried about you. Come on, let's play! <laughs> See, they really missed you. Oh, I never would have made it here if you hadn't rescued me. Chest bump? Uh, how about a hug this time? Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where 
Where does this piece go? Hmm, I think I know. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octomorts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to... Whoa! Oh, my! Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what was that shaking, Captain? It felt like some sort of tremor, Peso. An underwater tremor, to be exact. It's caused when the bottom of the ocean starts to shake. And now our ship is tilted. Quasi, Tweak, let's get the octopod standing straight again. Aye, Captain. Sure thing, Cap. There's our problem. The shaking damaged one of the octopod legs. No worries, Cap. We'll have the ship fixed faster and you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Buncha, muncha, crunchy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what be making that strange sound? Look, over there. It's a it's a it's a slimy pink pudding. I'm pretty sure it's a sea cucumber. Ow! 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 <gasps> that rock must have fallen on it during the tremor. Ow! <clears throat> We're gonna help you, little fella. We need Peso down here, right away! Peso reporting for medical duty, sir. Don't worry, I'm here to help you feel better. You wanna fix the octopod, Cap? Thanks, Tweak. Hmm. This is a type of animal called a sea cucumber. Woo you really are slippery. So you think my patient is some sort of sea cucumber? Snort sea cucumber, actually. Oh, it's not a sea cucumber. Yes, it is a sea cucumber. Snot, to be exact. Dr. Shellington, either it is a sea cucumber or it's not. It's snot. It's not. No, not. It's not. It's snot. Snot. You see how it's covered in slippery, slimy snot? Being covered in slimy snot makes it easy to slip away from anything that tries to catch it. And that's why it's called a snot sea cucumber. Oh, snot sea cucumber. No, I mean, yes, I think. <sighs> it's okay, little Slippy. It doesn't look too bad. I'll just bandage you up and you'll be as good as new. No! Please hold still or I won't be able to... No! Come here, pal. Oh. Whoa. Whoa! Oops. Whoa! Slippy? Slippy, are you under here? Hello? Slippy, where are you? <gasps> a trail of slimy snot. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. That's not good, Captain. A snot sea cucumber needs water to breathe. She can't be out of the water for too long. All octonaut hands on deck. Injured snot sea cucumber on the loose. And her name is Slippy. <laughs> Avast, you slimy critter! Come to Quasi! Oh! <laughs> 
crunchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> Now, our snot sea cucumber was last seen sliding into an octo chute. Hi, she's a slippery one, all right. According to my calculations, we have less than five minutes to get her back into the water so she can breathe. Octonauts, we must find her now. She's probably looking for water, so search in places where there's water. <laughs> Captain, we're running out of time. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Hmm. There's only one thing we can do, Peso. If we can't bring the snot sea cucumber to the ocean, let's bring the ocean to the snot sea cucumber. Huh? We'll flood the octopod. You mean fill it with water? Yow! Hi there, Captain. It's all fixed. Attention all octonauts. Put on your diving helmets, opening all hatches. We're flooding the octopod. Yep, faster than you can say. Flood the octopod? In ten seconds, the octopod will be completely filled with water. Nine. Hang on, Slippy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Wherever she is, at least she can breathe. But she's still hurt. There has to be somewhere we haven't looked. Right over your head. Over my head? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe not, but there she be, right over your head. Oh, yes. Gently now. We don't want to frighten her again. It's all right, Slippy. We're not going to hurt you. Uh. Gotcha! This won't hurt a bit. Good as new. You should heal nicely. And here's a sticker for being my... my... my slipperiest patient ever. Oh, thank you! Great. Now let's get you back out into the ocean. And the ocean back out of the octopod. Well, at least things are back to normal. Um, sort of. Yep, Cap. Looks like we'll be picking seaweed out of the ship for a long time. But it was worth it. <laughs> ah. That was the last piece. But there's still one missing. Where could it be? <laughs> Slippy, come on now. That's not the way you play with puzzles. It's not. Well, it's not. Oh, snot. <laughs> snot. <laughs> what a long day. I can't wait to get back to the octopod to get some rest. Don't worry, Peso. We'll be home in no time. It just so happens that I know a super secret shortcut through a mangrove forest. Turn left up here, Captain. Something's not right here. The mangrove forest is completely flooded. He's right, Captain. Here's what the mangrove forest used to look like. And now it's almost all underwater. We'd better take a look around and see if any creatures need our help. Uh -oh. We'll swim the rest of the way, Peso. <sighs> Looks like it's deserted. Aye. <gasps> we should all stay alert. Let's spread out and check for creatures. Aye, Captain. 
No creatures here, Captain. All clear over here, too. No creatures here either. Octonauts, let's move out. Ow! Ooh! Huh. What, what's going on? Hello. What are you doing in here? Flappity flippers. Quasi, Peso, open your helmets, quick. No! Ow! Don't worry. We just need to open our helmets so we can get you back in the water. Forget about it. This water's too deep for us and we can't swim too good. But you fish. What kind of fish doesn't want to be in the water? Ain't it obvious? We're mud skippers. Mud skippers? That's right. We can breathe air. <gasps> so we spend most of our time on land. Mud's what we need. That's where we live. And that's where we eat. There used to be plenty of mud around here, but now it's all underwater. Oh. So that's why you hitched a ride in our helmets. With everything flooded, we can't stay here. There's hardly any mud left. Yeah, if we don't find a new place, we're done for. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? We'll help you find a new home, mateys. <laughs> Ooh, you do that for us? Watch the catch. There's no catch at all. With the Octonauts, helping sea creatures is what we do. Uh, OK. OK. But it's not like we need help or nothing. Of course not. But you'd be doing us a favor if you let us help you. Well, since you put it that way, sure, why not? Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> We need to find a new home for our friends, the Mud Skippers. Mud Skippers, eh? Fascinating. I've never seen one up close. They'll need a place with lots of mud. There's another mangrove forest nearby, Captain. This one's not flooded. There should be plenty of mud there. If we leave now, then we should be able to get there by tomorrow morning. Hey, don't go out of your way on our account or nothing. Oh, um, we happen to be heading that way anyway. What a co-winky dink. I ask you, what are the odds? Junip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Dashi, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. Think you'll be all right in here, mudskippers. Well, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I've skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning, then. Yeah, good night. What in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. What's going on? Just solving a situation here. By mud wrestling? It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Ooh. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. Whoa! 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 <laughs> They're heading for the HQ. He is mud in your eye. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself. <gasps> You're on. Check this out. <laughs> 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 You call that a jump? This is a jump! Hey! Jumping jellyfish! Oh. What's going on? Oh! Duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty! Of course! I should have known! Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it! Duh. Oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay, and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Catch me a 
yes, you can. <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now, this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him water you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Ah, oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. They want to go that own way? Fine by me. Who needs those yo-yos? Am I right or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. <laughs> you can count on me. See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. And I see a crab and a lobster and a big old crocodile. And a bunch of shrimp. Wait, what was the last one? The shrimp? N no, the one before that. Oh, that was a crocodile. Oh. Crocodile! Ow! <laughs> Captain! Pacer! I've got a giant crocodile on me tail! We're on our way! Hey! You want a piece of this big guy? Come and get it! That's not helping! You! He's leaving! My helmet! It's broken! Uh-oh! We're trapped! Don't worry, matey! I'll get us some air! Any sign of them? Nada. Zip. Nothing. Over there, Captain. Quasi. This calls for some polar bear strength. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. We're rooting for you, big guy. Uh, ah. Thanks, Captain. Hey, no biggie. I could have done that if I wasn't stuck in this stinking helmet. Here we are. Hey, check it out. Not bad. It looks like there's plenty of room for all of you here. Woohoo! Love the new location. Thanks for helping us, even though we didn't really need it. Uh, give me some fin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to let those yahoos grab all the best spots? Forget about it. I think the mudskippers will be all right here. Hey, that's I my saw it okay. I have a feeling they'll be just fine. Or as they might say, forget about it! The sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now, what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We 
need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Kip, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Kip? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh. Oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me, so obviously they're lost or missing. Ho, 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 ho! Whoa, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrass and a shark. <laughs> hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished as shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now, don't chomp my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and... A little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get the picture. 
The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Hey, so go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh. Oh. Oh no, snapping shrimp! <laughs> yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snip first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snipping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. <laughs> He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. <laughs> okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Ah. There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! He's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway. Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh. Can't reach. To do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashy, what is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashy, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. What's 
that tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go. <laughs> Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are! <laughs> aboard the ship. We found eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake? On the octopod? Are you sure, Peso? Yes. It was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No. No. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. Oh. That whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Sounds like a snake. Aha! Gotcha! Oh. <laughs> Ah, prepare to be rescued, sea crate! Yeah! Stop right there! I am so getting off this ship. Oh. Follow oh. that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great. But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! Water, water, find water! Water, water, find water! Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find the 
find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no. Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no! Brave move, matey. I... I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Now hurry back inside. They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out. Okay, Dashy, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! <laughs> now, blasters! Blasters, go! No whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, Octonauts, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? <laughs>